Hey guys, okay, so today's gonna be an eyebrow tutorial video, um, and you guys have been requesting this, so I'm gonna get it done. I've already done one in the past, but um, my regimen has changed a little bit, and um, my eyebrow shape has changed. Um, not that a lot of you guys would notice that, but um, I've changed my eyebrows up. I grew them out just to make them a little bit thicker, and um, I don't even really fill them in anymore. So this is a really, really natural makeup tutorial, which is really awkward by me, because usually I love caking it on. Um, <laughs> But let's just talk about eyebrows for a second, okay? Eyebrows are the frame to your face. Pay attention to them, okay? Um, I don't want to see you guys spending so much time on your foundation, spending so much time on your eyeshadow and mascara, um, and then leaving your eyebrows because your eyebrows make or break it. You gotta spend time shaping them, not even spending that much time on them, just make sure they look nice and groomed and they'll change your whole face. And that is a guarantee, okay? Take my word on that. I have seen some badass eyebrows and that is not in a good way, not like badass eyebrows, like yo, you got some badass eyebrows, not like that, some badass eyebrows, um, and I mean, I just, it, they're really, really disgusting to look at, and if you want people looking in your eyes when you talk to them, and not one inch higher in the fuzzy beasts, caterpillars above your eyes, um, I would wax them, and get them groomed, and make them nice, and watch this video, so yeah, let's just get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do when you're starting off doing your eyebrows is obviously groom them. Um, I mean, if you're going to wax them, if you're going to tweeze them, um, I like to tweeze my eyebrows. I don't over tweeze though, but just because it hurts. And <laughs> baby, I'm a baby. Well, for anybody blonde out there, you'll know. I have blonde hairs, and um, I mean, I know they're not super blonde, but like the baby hairs that grow in here and here and stuff are like blonde so like I can't really see them unless I put makeup over them so a lot of the time I'll just go to get my eyebrows done like every two three weeks just to make sure that there's no grown in hairs there you feel me so basically what I like to do is I like to take a brush that looks like this there's bristles here so you can rub your eyebrows and then this I think is for eyelashes um, I never really use this so I just keep the cap on and basically what I do is I just take the bristles and I brush my hairs up and back so once you have your hairs like that it's perfect shape um, you want to fill in Okay, so what I do to fill in my eyebrows is I use a powdered eyeshadow, but I have used everything. I've used pencil, I've used eyebrow cake, I've used um, powder eyeshadow, obviously. I've pretty much used a lot of products um, for my eyebrows. and I used to be crazy about um, filling in my eyebrows, but now I kind of just like to keep it more so natural. Um, I mean, I kind of let my eyebrows grow out. I really, really do like the shape that I have now, so I really don't even need to fill them in. But if I'm doing everything else in my makeup, might as well just fill it in a little Bit and make it perfect you feel me um, okay so yeah today and recently for the past like year or so I have been using Omega eyeshadow by Mac and um, it looks like this it is this one right here and this one right here this one's obviously less but these two are Omega and this is a super light color I don't know if that looks like super gray to you um, but I think I was using I don't want to say espresso um, like a color like that though, like a super dark brown color. Like I had picked the completely wrong color and when I picked this, I was like, honestly, I'm just gonna try it. If it doesn't work, which I know it won't, I'll return it, right? But I got home and I was like, wow, this is actually really working. Blonde eyebrows are tricky for filling them in and stuff like that. I mean, it's really like just trial and error, you know what I mean? Like sometimes, with especially eyebrows, um, a, a color that you see in real life will look a lot different on the hair and on the skin. So um, I found my perfect color. My perfect color is Omega Eyeshadow by MAC. Um, and I mean, if any of you blonde people out there are tr having trouble finding an eyeshadow color um, to fill in your eyeshadow, definitely try Omega. So basically what I like to do is I am taking a MAC 212 brush and it looks like this. I like filling in my eyebrows better with this rather than an angled brush. Um, I don't know, it's, it's honestly just preference. Um, so basically what I do is I just swirl it in and dab it. Um, and then the product that I have on here is pretty much going to do my whole eyebrow. Um, it's just the technique that's going to make it work. And I used to dab, do it, dab, do it, dab, do it, like one by one, but now I can just do it all in one. So basically what I do is I start, um, I know they never, they say never start at the front, and I abide by that rule. I mean, if you start at the front when you fill in your eyebrows, no big deal, you really shouldn't worry about it. Um, but I, what I like to do is I like to take, I'm just going to make sure you can see this. Um, I like to take it like this and basically do one line down here and then fill in a bit of the arch. Just doing short, like, strokes, do you see? And then when I get to the front, I like to do straight up and down strokes because that's 
naturally how um, the hairs right about here grow, um, they grow up. They don't grow this way, so that's how I do it. So yeah, once that's done, um, that's pretty much all I do for my eyebrows um, for filling in. And sometimes I go the extra step. Step. I go the extra step. I go the extra step, and I use um, a brow gel, and that's basically just to lock in your eyebrows. But I feel truly that my eyebrow hairs aren't like long, and they don't like get out of place. Like I know a lot of people like like to keep their hairs groomed and up, but I feel like once I comb it, they pretty much stay in that like general area so there's like no reason to like do that step and I feel okay this is um, a brow gel by Maybelline and it is just a drugstore it's called Great Lash Clear Mascara it looks like this and look how disgusting it gets do you see that that's disgusting it's like a gross brown it just got really disgusting and I can't even imagine people that have darker eyebrows than me um, what this would look like it would literally look like poo like hmm, let me just put my poo on my eyebrows <laughs> perfect done so I usually skip this step and I know there's a Mac clear mascara and it was just the same I mean I think it's kind of a pointless step but if you feel like you need to do it then definitely do it um, obviously if you have that issue then that needs to be addressed so yeah, that's pretty much all I do for my eyebrows, but now I'm going to talk about how to make your eyebrows pop and how to make your shape look better. Um, because I know eyebrow shape is something that's really, really important to a lot of people, including myself. So my favorite eyebrow highlight right now is Short Shorts, and this was in... I don't know what this collection was called by MAC, to be completely honest. I'm not going to lie right now. Um, but this is what the color looks like. It's just a really, really nice frosty eyeshadow, and I like using frosty eyeshadows for my brow highlight. Um, really, really big fan. So I'm just taking a brush that looks like this and dabbing it in and just putting that right up against the arch of my brow. And then blending downwards. So do you see how that added, like, a really nice shine? And um, it's a frost eyeshadow, so, I mean, it's going to be super, super shimmery um, and just, like, reflective. And, I mean, personally, I think that makes everybody's eyebrow look a million times better, even if you just do this, even if you don't even fill it in. Um, it really, really works. And another trick that I don't use but I think looks really, really great on a lot of dark skin people, and if you didn't know this trick, look out for it because makeup artists do it a lot on dark skin people uh, because it just looks amazing. So what they do is they take a brush that looks like this and I mean I could do this as well I just feel like it wouldn't show up on me um, as well just because I'm so light um, but they take a brush that looks like this or something similar and they take a light whoa I just hit myself in the face they take a lighter color and they just go around the eyebrow on the skin on the outside with a lighter color and then they blend outwards um, and this just makes the eyebrows look amazing so yeah that was my eyebrow tutorial I really really hope you guys enjoyed and until I see you guys next time stay gorgeous